there are three primary types of digital initiatives that you should be thinking about as you embark on any sort of transformation involving technology. And that's what I wanna talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stages of digital transformation success. And as the name Third Stage implies, there are three different types of digital initiatives that organizations can embark on. There's digitization, there's digitalization, and digital transformation. And believe it or not, these are three different, but subtly different types of initiatives that you should be aware of. And so what I wanna to do today is talk about what these differences are and how you can use this understanding to help navigate and create the right sort of digital strategy that makes the most sense for your organization. The first of three steps in any sort of digital initiative is digitization. And digitization is actually something that started in the 70s, 80s, into the 1990s, when computers were first being adopted by organizations throughout the world. Probably the easiest way to understand and summarize what digitization means is to think about the evolution of paper-based business processes and information to computerized pieces of information. So for example, if you think about accounting, back in the day prior to the 1970s, most accounting and general ledgers were tracked on paper. But in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, organizations started to computerize their general ledgers and their accounting. So now they started to track this information digitally rather than on paper. Another example would be expenses and receipts, things that you track on paper potentially, but you can also store digitally. An even more basic example, more at a consumer level rather than at a business level, would be when you think about music and videos today. It used to be that you needed a record or a CD or a, a videotape to watch movies. Now it's all digital. So that's probably the best way to think about it is digitization is taking manual, paper-based pieces of information and moving it to computers. Now, digitization is the base foundational aspect of modern technologies. The next step in the evolution from manual processes and manual information to computerized digital transformations, the next step in that evolution is digitalization. So digitalization is taking digitization one step further. And that's where we're not only putting information into computers, but now we're changing the way we do business. We're changing our workflows. We're leveraging technology in a way that allows us to rethink how we do business. For example, beginning in the 1980s and the 1990s, manufacturing organizations focused not only on moving their information and data from paper into computers, but then they started rethinking how can we use these computers to rethink how we conduct our business? How can we forecast demand better so that we can forecast manufacturing better? So production planning became an automated process that really forced and enabled the whole idea of rethinking the business model for manufacturing organizations. And organizations and other types of industries are experiencing new ways of rethinking how they do business as a result of technology. So think of digitalization as the next step in the evolution of computerization, where now we're taking digital information and we're turning it into digital business processes and workflows. Now, the third step in this evolution is digital transformation. And digital transformation is really the comprehensive view of an organization, not just leveraging technology, but more importantly, leveraging improved business processes and improved people and organizational structures to totally transform a business. So what we're doing here with digital transformation is we're building on the first two phases of the evolution with digitization and digitalization. And now we're taking it one step further and looking at the comprehensive view of people, process, and technologies. And so the key here is really looking at not only how we can automate business processes, not only how we can change our business model, but how we can tie this all together to address the people, process, and technology components of transformation. Now, the key here is to recognize and define how your digital transformation aligns with your overall strategy. So when you think about strategic objectives and goals that you've set for an organization, Usually, digital transformations can be a way to enable and further support those strategic objectives. So for example, if your goal is to grow revenue, top line revenue growth, digital transformation might be a way to help you sell more services or products. It might be a way to help you cross sell to customers. 
and really leveraging technology in ways you hadn't thought of before. And the key here is not only to leverage that technology, but to train people and to redefine business processes in a way that allows the organization to fully adopt those digital technologies. Now I've shared three different steps or sequences within the evolution of digital initiatives. And no one of them is going to be right or wrong. No one of them is better than others. We're certainly all aspiring toward digital transformation, which is that third one I talked about. But a lot of what you have to do as an organization is look at where you are today. If you're an organization that is still working off paper-based processes, then chances are you're probably gonna start off with the digitization sort of project versus a full-blown digital transformation. Or if you do decide that you're gonna take that quantum leap and jump all the way to a full-blown digital transformation, you just need to recognize that there's risk that goes along with that. If you're a risk adverse organization, or if your current culture doesn't support a full-blown digital transformation, you'll need to rethink how you approach your digital strategy to ensure that you've addressed all the things you need to make your project successful. So it's important to understand where you are in this overall digital journey, understand how big of a jump you're making, and the bigger of a jump you're making, it's important to recognize there's more risk and there's more of a need for organizational change management and the stakes are just higher. Now, presumably the upside business benefit potential of a digital transformation is there too, but you ultimately have to decide what's right for you. Where on that spectrum do you wanna fall? How quickly do you wanna move through that sequence of three different phases of, of transformation and do what's right for you? So I hope this has provided some background on the differences between digitization, digitalization, and digital transformation. For more information and best practices on digital strategies that you can use for your organization, I encourage you to download our annual digital transformation report. It's an annual paper that we publish each year that talks about digital strategy best practices, software review, software rankings, and other independent and technology agnostic advice to help you through your transformation. I've included a link to that below, so be sure to check that out. I've also included links to other resources that I think will help you define your digital strategy and your digital transformation approach. So be sure to check out some of those resources in the description here. So I hope you found this information useful and I hope you have a great day.